In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up multi-factor authentication or MFA on your AWS account using Google Authenticator. This essential security feature adds an extra layer of protection to your account, ensuring that even if someone gets a hold of your password, they won't be able to log in without a second form of identification. So let's dive right into the process. First, you need to access your AWS Management Console, which is always the starting point for managing your AWS settings and configurations. Once you're logged in, look toward the top right of the screen where you'll see your account name. Click on it, and from the drop-down menu, head over to Security Credentials. This section is where you manage all things related to your account's secure login settings, including our focus for today, MFA. Now in the security credentials section, scroll down a bit until you find the multi-factor authentication MFA section. Here, you'll see an option labeled assign MFA device. Click on this, which will initiate the process of adding that extra security layer to your account. At this point, AWS will prompt you to enter a device name. Choose something straightforward and memorable that helps you identify the device, especially if you plan on managing MFA for multiple accounts or devices in the future. Once you've entered a name, select Authenticator app as your device type, then click on Next. This sets the stage for the integration with your Google Authenticator app. With that done, grab your phone and open the Google Authenticator app. If you haven't already installed it, simply download it from your app store. Once it's open, you'll find a plus sign within the app interface, typically towards the bottom. Tap it and choose the scan QR code option. Now point your phone's camera at the QR code displayed by AWS. This action links your AWS account with the Google Authenticator app and generates your MFA codes. After successfully scanning the QR code, Google Authenticator will display a series of six digit codes that change every 30 seconds. AWS will prompt you to enter two consecutive codes from the app. Type these codes accurately as they appear in the two input fields provided by AWS. Double check to ensure there are no mistakes, then hit the Assign MFA button. If everything is set up correctly, you should see a success message indicating that multi-factor authentication is now enabled. From this point forward, anytime you log in to your AWS account, you'll be asked to provide a code from the Google Authenticator app in addition to your password. This not only strengthens your account security, but gives you peace of mind knowing unauthorized access is significantly reduced. And there you have it you've successfully set up MFA on your AWS account using Google Authenticator. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like or subscribe for more helpful tips and tutorials.